In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a free and easy gaming logo just like this one. If you want to grow on YouTube or Twitch, you're probably going to want some clean branding and graphics, and hopefully I can help you out with that today. In the past couple of videos, I've shown some free ways you can improve your streams, even straight from a console. So be sure and check those out. And if you want to see more helpful videos on how to grow your channel, be sure and subscribe. My channel's been growing a lot lately, and I want to continue to help you guys grow as I do. So I've got a free graphics pack I'm giving away at 500 subscribers, so be on the lookout for that. But anyways, that's enough rambling. Pull this up on your phone, hop on your computer, and let's make a logo. First thing you want to do, let's go to Pixlr.com. Pixlr, first one should pop up. Uh, let's click this advanced option, because we are some pros here. Not really. Let's create new. Skip all this. Uh, name it whatever you want. I'm going to go logo. Hate text. My capitalization is off. And I'm not going to fix it. Let's change the width and the height to a thousand by a thousand. Uh, keep your background off. You could add a background if you want, but I think it's best to have it off because we'll make this logo and then probably on another video, we're going to take it, add it to a banner or a profile picture. And you don't want to have to remove the background every time you try and put your logo somewhere. All right. So this is what we're working with. Uh, you can zoom in and out right here. I use my scroll wheel that should work for you if not do it here here's your layers all your tools let's go ahead and find us a mascot to begin working with I'm gonna go over to vecdeasy.com this part's a little complicated not really it's just complicated for me because I'm gonna show you a few different ways of downloading things in case you're having problems so first just search up whatever you want you want a ninja you want a lion a tiger a bear whatever you want uh, just, just pick one out uh, when you start scrolling you're probably gonna see something really dope and realize that it's pro and it costs money so we're all poor here let's click the free license and now you can see your budget logo coming to life uh, just look through I would recommend finding something that already has color in it also something simple you know if you like this little guy you can download that and I'll show you how to cut just him out uh, so do that let me show you our first method of downloading real quick I know this one here okay so when you click on whichever one you want to pick let's say you saw this and you're like oh I just want to keep this guy right here uh, this is the normal way that I've been downloading, but first you want to hover your mouse over it. And if this little edit thing pops up, go ahead and click edit. It'll bring you into here. And then you can just download it. Change it to a PNG right here. PNG, accept, download. Boom. Now... Let me show you what I'm going to be working with in this video. Like I said, find something simple, find something with color. See, like one of these guys would be cool. Probably this bottom right one. He's already finished. He's got a nice outline. He's colored. All that good stuff. But for some reason, I want to make it harder myself, and I'm going to choose this guy. And as you can see, when I hover over him, edit does not pop up. So I'm going to click the free download. This right here is how everything on this website is free you just have to give the artist credit so you're going to click that and it's copied and you're just going to paste that link in your description or bio or wherever you want to put it to make sure the artist gets his credit then i'll click that button to start the download it'll do it automatically boom it'll pop up down here if you're on chrome uh, i'm going to close out of it so you can show me go looking for it i can show you whatever all right, so here it is. Go to your downloads. If you don't see it on top, just change date modified, and you can see all your downloads in order. If you get a zipped folder like this, extract all, extract, and it'll pop up. If it doesn't, then it's just a copy and it's unzipped. Click it there. You want to make sure you have an image file. If you just have like an Internet Explorer file, 
in this edit file you're gonna have to pick a different logo to work with or you're gonna have to use that method I showed you a minute ago where you go into their editor and download it from there and as always you can just go to Google ninja PNG maybe throw free in there the thing with Google is you don't know if you're actually getting this for free like say you make this logo and then overnight you gain a million subscribers and someone comes out and says uh, dude I made that you didn't give me credit and then you're sued for a billion dollars I don't think that'll happen but anyway let's go back to our editor pull up your files and let's see here let's see here where did I put it downloads Rhino let's drag our Rhino in there it's gonna ask if you want to create a new edit nope let's add it to our current thousand by a thousand whoa big Rhino hippo size him down by clicking the corner and dragging let's put him in the center and let's zoom in now let's get rid of this white background you're gonna come over to your scissor tool cut out mask tool nothing happens it's because you have to select your layer then all your tools will pop up let's switch to our magic cutout yours will probably be on this let's switch it to remove from cutout tolerance 32 that's fine feather let's add a little feather on there nine I like a feather in my hair all right let's click right here in the background don't click in here or anywhere inside of your mascot click on the outside and it should take the background right away now what I figured out is gonna help with editing later is instead of just leaving it like this you want to hit this extract button I don't know why but just trust me click extract it looks like it brought the background back but what it did is make a cutout of our mascot right here so all you have to do now is go to this one that still has this white background uncheck it that'll make it invisible and now we're gonna work with this guy uh -oh. uh I clicked let me click undo if you do anything just edit undo all right let me show you real quick this is why this video is gonna take so long I need to show a bunch of examples on three different ways to download stuff and also what to do if you're say you picked something like this you saw this and you're like well I just want this guy how do I get rid of these guys no problem you get this little tool right here you're gonna go around the guy you like pause uh, also sometimes your layer will get locked somehow uh, probably not for you but I'm doing this weird don't copy me right now but if it's locked double click all right so you want to get rid of these three guys what you want to do is you got this tool still selected you've got your guy selected right click hit invert selection now instead of this being selected all of this is selected now you hit delete and boom you killed all the other guys now you just got this guy now with this still selected and all these glowy lines still going crazy hit deselect let's put him in the middle and then you can do what I did a minute ago scissors magic cutout remove 32 9 boop extract hide this one boom if I'm confusing I am sorry okay let's go back to rhino hippo this right here is your rotation tool him's nodding him's head all right let's get him kind of flat here on the bottom and we'll put him about right there now like I said I recommend something like this colored boom like so easy add text to that and you're done but in case you found something it's just it's just so perfect that doesn't have color but it's got to be your logo you just got to make it hard on all of us I'm gonna show you how to fix that I've realized that I'm doing things without explaining it all right this is a fill tool click the fill tool these are your colors select a color 
For my Rhino Hippo, I'm going to go somewhere in the blue-gray range. Click OK. I'm going to click OK again. I'm going to select my cutout. Got my fill tool. And then I'm going to fill right there. Now, that's not going to be that good for everybody. For instance, if this line wasn't here and his eye was just kind of hanging, it would have filled in the whole thing. If these lines weren't here, you know how a fill tool works. We all used paint back in the day. So that's why I recommend this guy. Colorful. Don't have to do anything hard. This bad. This good. Let's keep going. Let's get a light gray. Boop. Boop. Let's get a light yellow, because rhinos don't brush their teeth. Now it's looking pretty good. All right, I don't think I've skipped any steps. Let's go ahead and add a text layer. Okay, hold on. That was kind of fast. Okay, I'm actually going to delete this layer. Just so you saw, and you don't have to like pause the video a million times, I went over here. I hit the plus button and I hit text. Now, you can do your name, hey text, whatever you want, throw it in there. Um, now, we've got this layer selected. Let's hit our text tool, and that's going to bring up all of our tools. Yeah, that's the word. You can change the letter spacing. You can make it italic and bold and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna turn all that off. I'm gonna hit undo. Oh no, I gotta go way back, way back. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna pick a font. <laughs> Hippoletto. And then I'm gonna turn this way up. Oh, uh, like that. That's our size. Uh, what? No, no, no. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna get my little pointer tool. Actually, you can't. You gotta stay here. Stay on your text tool. Change it to white. I recommend white text. I think it looks the best. Or go with the color scheme inside your mascot. If you were doing this guy, it'd be really, really good to make maybe this yellow text. Put a red outline. And then a black outline, something like that to match. And you can select these colors. When you click this, you can click and drag it out of the what is happening. Okay, you can click and drag that out of the way. And then you can just come in here and select whatever color you want. Hey, cool, it carried over. My color here carried over here. That's cool. Learn something new every day. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to hit these three dots on our hey text name layer. We're going to duplicate the layer. We got a hey text copy now. Let's put that on the bottom. Got our text tool text to selected. And we're going to come over to styles and turn on an outline. Now, let's see. Let's turn the outline up a little bit. About five. And let's drag this window over here. Let's click color and let's click our Rhino face color. Looking good. So let's go ahead and copy our copy. So now we have a copy copy. Bring copy copy below copy. Man, this isn't confusing at all. Hit our text tool. Come up to styles. And we're going to add a bigger outline and this one's going to be black make sure you're working on your copy copy and not your last outline we're adding a new outline we're going to make that one 10. now we've got this oh no oh no Oh no. I've made a mistake.
Okay, so if what just happened to me happens to you, of course we're having problems. You're just going to have to resize it. See how this is real thin? It was cutting off the outlines that I made, so I had to resize it. But then the kind of hard part is you're going to have to drag this back over and just kind of get lucky and line it back up. I don't know why that happened. All right, but we got it fixed. Last thing I'm gonna do with the text that you can choose to do or not to do is go back to our top layer, the first, first one we did that has no outline on it. Duplicate it. Um, let's go to our text tool. We're gonna to leave it on top this time and change it to a light gray. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click back on this layer, go to the layer tab and hit rasterize text slash element. Don't ask what that means because I don't know. We're going to go into our brushes. I clicked eraser, then go up to my brush so I can change it. Uh, we're going to go for this one here, this 500 soft one. We're going to close out. Now, if you give it a nice, if you click and kind of wipe across, you get a nice little gradient in there. You can choose to do that or not. I think it adds a little bit. I think it looks pretty good. Something I would have liked to do is make it italic, and I did not do that. But, oh well. So now a little tip. You've got all these different text layers how do you move them around let's undo 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 if you go to your top layer and you start clicking merge down it's gonna start making them into one layer now don't go too far because now it's attached to your rhino hippo or your ninja or pirate or whatever you chose so I'm going to undo that last merge. Oh. Okay, now we got it separated. And what I would recommend doing is hiding your text layer. So now you got just your mascot. Let's go ahead up to filter outline. That color looks pretty cool actually. But I'm just going to stick to white size it up a little bit hit apply now that's looking really good if you want to get really nitpicky which i'm a psychopath so i probably will you can go in here and add some highlights and some shadows and really take your mascot to the next level so i'm going to fast forward through this but for example if you wanted to add a nice shadow on this horn just come to your colors, select this, and when adding a shadow, just either take it down a little bit, or if it's a color, you can go down and to the right. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit, probably about right here, and then go in here and add some shadows real quick. All right, so you can see how that really brings our Rhino Hippo to life. You might want to add some highlights in there. You might have gotten something that's already got, you know, he's kind of got some something happening here. Or maybe that's a mustache or I don't know. But if you really take the time to go in and add more stuff, you can really bring it to life. Honestly, I'm not that happy with this text. It's not looking that good. So I'd probably use this rhino more than I would this text but also make your text italic from the beginning and you know, I think that makes it look a lot better find a better font than what am I using hippo something but now let's go ahead and start saving our logo let's go back to this text layer hide it the reason I did all that so we'll go here Get it centered up and then all we have to do is click file 
and save file name name or whatever you want however you want to save it I recommend PNG same width and height go ahead and click download it should pop up right here if it's not there then it's in your downloads then you can just close out of this and then if you want if your text looks a lot better than mine then you can add it back bring it up here and then add the let's see the outline add a white outline so it flows right into our rhino might have to do some rotation and stuff I like how that goes into the hook right there and then you can even merge this down and now you've got your final product here and then again you just file save and download so I think we're done I hope this helps you guys hope it gets all your socials looking good in my next video will probably take this and put it into a banner for your twitch and youtube and all your socials and stuff but anyways i really do appreciate the support that we've been getting recently we've been growing like crazy i'm going to keep putting these videos out to help you guys i want y'all to grow as i grow let me know what else you want to see if you're not subscribed be sure and do so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one <coughs>